and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a developing story that's capturing headlines and could shape the future of international relations in Southeast Asia. I'm talking about the latest strategic move by the United States and the Philippines in the hotly contested South China Sea. Just recently, Vice President Kamala Harris made a significant visit to Palawan, an island that lies on the edge of the South China Sea. This visit is monumental, not just because of its timing but because it marks the highest-ranking U.S. official ever to step foot there. But why is this visit so crucial? The South China Sea is a major maritime route that sees about one-third of global shipping pass through. It's a region rich in resources but more importantly, it's a region that's been a boiling point of territorial disputes, primarily with China claiming vast portions, much to the disagreement of neighboring countries like the Philippines. During her visit, Harris emphasized the U.S.'s unwavering commitment to its ally, the Philippines. This is a clear message not just to the Philippines but to all of Southeast Asia and the world. The United States is not stepping back, instead it's reinforcing its presence and its support for international maritime law. This move comes right after President Biden's encounter with Chinese leader Xi Jinping. Thus, Harris's trip acts as a strategic assertion of U.S. influence in the region, potentially irking Beijing, which has been critical of U.S. actions in the area. Moreover, the dynamics are further complicated, as the Philippines revealed that a Chinese Coast Guard ship had recently engaged in aggressive actions against a Philippine vessel. This incident underscores the ongoing tensions and the high stakes involved in this maritime chess game. So, what's next? The U.S. and the Philippines are poised to accelerate the implementation of their Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement EDCA, aiming to bolster military readiness and cooperation. This development is crucial as it represents a direct effort to ensure stability and peace in the region, amidst rising assertiveness from China. In conclusion, the South China Sea is a region where global powers are playing a high-stakes game of diplomacy and military posturing. With the U.S. reaffirming its support for the Philippines, we're reminded that the actions taken in these waters are about more than just ships and shores. They're about international law, sovereignty, and the future of regional security. Thanks for tuning in, and if you found this analysis helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates on this ongoing geopolitical saga. Stay informed, and see you in the next video.